I'm doing two videos, one on my computer and one on my phone. So that way, it won't feel I have that long. But I want to show y'all something. Can y'all, can y'all see? Let me find my hand. Okay, here go my hand. Can y'all see that? Now, do you see that bar right here where I'm pointing to? I had the bar about right here, right? And in the beginning, it stayed up. You know, it was up there. It stayed up there. There's no problem. You know, set this up so it will stay. Okay, so it stayed up with no problem. And then after a while, I noticed that it would slide down, right? So now, upon it sliding down, I just got to throw this in there. So if anybody else get it, they'll have heads up on what happened and what's going on with it if it does do that. So it started sliding down, right? And I was like, come on. It kept sliding down. I'm like, why is it sliding down right there? And I go put it back up, put it back up. It kept sliding down. <laughs> then it started leaning to the side. So there's poles at the bottom, right? So I automatically figured, I was telling my daughter, I was telling Danielle, since it's my video, I'll name name. I was telling Danielle, which is my daughter, for those who don't know, that the the poles at the bottom is what keep the the bars from going sideways. She come, she she put the poles back in, sat it, fixed it back up, and she was saying there's little clips on the on the on the sides of them to to bring it up and bring it down, then clip it in. And she was saying that the clips on this side of the pole had came over and off open, and that's why they were sliding. So I said, okay. But then I start back doing it again, and I'm like, what is going on here? So last night, I came home from church. Uh, before I went to church, let me put it that way. I think it was before I went to church. No, no, no. Before I went to church, it had fell all the way over on the bed. My grandson was like, nah, nah, the thing. I said, that's all right. I was in my sleep zone. I said, I'll fix it tomorrow. Right? So he was, no. I said, I'll fix it tomorrow. So it had fell over, let's say this morning, which was yesterday morning. So now I'm getting ready to go to church. And I pushed it back up and it kept sliding. I could feel it. So it's right by the radiator. So I figured, well, maybe the radiator is the heat from it is causing it to slide. Mm -mm. You know, I was just trying to come up with all kinds of solutions of why this kept sliding down, you know? So I said, all right. So I went and I loosened the little brackets on the side. And then it started sliding down, right? So I said to myself, I said, you know what? So then when I looked, I actually paid attention to the little, they got little black things, right? At the end of the, I don't even feel like bottom, but at the end of the bar, right? And right in it was a slit. So that gave me the reason of why it kept sliding over, leaning over, because it was no longer secure to stay. So it had put a slit in the opening, right? So therefore, the slit caused it to open up more. And that's why if the bar was up at a level, then that caused it to slide down because of the weight of the clothes. So I began, it, it's not, I ain't begin nothing. It began to slide down again. So you know what I say? You know what? I'm going to let it go on. So then as it go down, I said, maybe, wait a minute. Maybe this is how the bar's supposed to be. 
But if it's not how it's supposed to be, I'm going to have to show you. I said, if it's not how it's supposed to be, that's how I'm going to do it. So you see, can you see? I got one with my hand. I got one. Let me come this way. I got one down and one up. Mm. <laughs> I can't get my hand. Okay, I got one up. Okay, I got one up and I got one down. So I left it down. The one that's low, the one that's low, I left it down. And the one that's up, I left it up. So I decided I was going to bring it all the way down to where it can't go up no more. Where it can't go down no more. And so that's how I'm using it. So the bottom one will be for my shirts, my blouses, my short sweaters. And the back will be for the long, which I don't really got too much long. I got like one, maybe one or two or three dresses back there. But the front will be for the skirts. And that'll keep it from sliding down. It'll be at the length that it needs to go so it won't mess up. So with that being said, we're going to go on with the original video, which is... My watch and my bag, there you go. Huh? Let me take them. A little bit. About his bag. It is a Tory Burch suitcase. <laughs> Come on, Joey. Okay, but it can pass for okay. It, it, it can pass like for a bucket bag for those who know what bucket bags are. It just doesn't have the tie string in the middle. But this is what it looks like, and it got to be about four pounds. So I got a little bit of everything in here. But as I said, it's the Tory Birds. Here it goes. This is the. Uh, this is the color red. Contrast is red. And then inside here is this logo. Though I thought it was a key. And I was like, where's the lock? And it has a little strap which comes off. And I guess it comes off and you could put a coarse body strap on it. This is the inside. So just off the back, what does this look like? Anybody know? If so, put it in the bottom. Put it in the comment. This is, it reminds me of, somebody said it to me, of Christian Louboutin, red bottoms. So it actually can match the shoes. But this is leather. Inside it's leather. And it has a, it has a pocket, right, which is also leather, and the inside of that, inside of that pocket is leather. Okay, so, we're going to go, oh, and you can see the stitching on the back, and that's on the inside. This is how big the pocket is. It doesn't have a zipper inside, it's just a, inside is just a big tub, but I like it. Okay. So let me see if I need to heat up my coffee again. Before we go on. Yes, I do. Look at that. 